One of the great mysteries of the coastal Carolinas is the Carolina Bays. Carolina Bays are elliptical depressions concentrated along the Atlantic seaboard. Carolina Bays vary in size from one to several thousand acres. About 500,000 of them are present in the classic area of the Atlantic coastal plain, often in groups, with each bay invariably aligned to a northwest to southeast direction. Generally, the southeastern end has a higher rim composed of white sand. They are named for the bay trees frequently found in them, not because of the frequent ponding of water. The bays are especially rich in biodiversity, including some rare and or endangered species which can be found nowhere else on earth. Several carnivorous plants inhabit Carolina bays, including bladdenwort, butterwort, pitcher plant, sundew, and of course the Venus flytrap. The orientation of the long axis of Carolina bays systematically rotate northward along the Atlantic coastal plain. If the long axis of the bays are projected westward, they converge in the area of southeastern Indiana and southwestern Ohio. The age of the Carolina bays is constrained by a variety of dating techniques, as predating the end of the Pleistocene by tens of thousands to over a hundred thousand years. The techniques which demonstrate a preterminal Pleistocene age for the Carolina bays are radiocarbon dating, optically stimulated luminescence or OSL dating, and polynology. Theories of the origin of the Carolina Bays fall into two major categories, that these features were created by forces within the Earth, or that they were gouged by an astronomical event or set of events. Various geomorphological theories have been proposed to account for the bays, including action of sea currents when the area was under the ocean, or the upwelling of groundwater at a later time. Various proposals that they were either directly or indirectly created by a meteor shower or exploding comet are disputed by many scientists. Geologists and geomorphologists have repeatedly found that the orientations of the Carolina Bays are consistent with the wind patterns which existed during the Wisconsin glaciation. The comet impact theory of the origin of the bays was popular among earth scientists of the 1930s and 40s. It said that they were the result of a low density comet exploding above or impacting with the Laurentide ice sheet about 12,900 years ago. You can witness for yourself these mysterious landmarks by taking a private helicopter or airplane ride available at many of the local airports.